Good morning, welcome to the shed. Um, so I've got another plane restoration for you today. This is a Lewin plough combination plane which allows you to do uh, rabbits, mouldings and also um, a, a groove, yeah, yeah, a rabbit basically, um, a channel. Um, the only thing is I'm missing the blade so I'm not going to be able to see it through right to the end uh, but we're going to strip it down, clean it, paint it, fix a couple of issues. I noticed there's a couple of little bits missing so let's get you over to the bench and uh, have a look at it. So this is the um, Lewin combination plane. It's made of aluminium but still got enough weight to it to work properly, I hope. Uh, it's fairly dirty so the first thing to do is going to be, as usual, strip it down and um, see what we've got. I've noticed at least, so these um, little levers here operate cams for the tightening up against those rods and also for holding the blades in position. Uh, I've noticed at least one of them's missing or broken. Yeah, two, actually I can see. So we'll have to see if we can fix those or do something similar. Okay, uh, a bit of WD-40 is the first job. My uh, shed's lovely and toasty and warm because I've got my fire going. So I'm just gonna give this a good, in all the relevant bits. I might be able to reuse some of these cams in different places rather than repair them. Don't know how I'm going to get those ones that are undone, uh, that are broken done. Unusual little beast, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to let that soak for a few minutes and go and make myself a cup of coffee, come back, give it a wipe down, see if we can take it apart. Okay, that's had 10 minutes or so to uh, soak in, so we can start taking it apart. So I did a quick bit of research, yeah these, um, I see sort of fairly mixed reviews for these. Um, it looks like you've really got them to get them set up properly for it to work well, but I guess that applies to most planes that I've sort of learned as I go along. Um, yeah. Also, one of the problems that they have is that the blades aren't very easily gripped. Not sure if you can see that in here by this, because this, this is like a little cam that twists and grips the blade. Apparently, if the blade's a bit too smooth, it won't uh, grip it and it comes loose. So I'm sure we can get it working. But as I say, I haven't got any blades at the moment, so that's going to have to be a later video. OK, so what have we got? Don't know what that does. Seems to be loose. Yeah, there's a little uh, score, scorer, scourer, no, what am I trying to say? A little blade here that scores a line that then the blade can cut to when you're cutting um, a rabbit. I think I said, I called it a channel earlier. What I meant to say was a dado. This bit appears to be made from wood. Don't know if that's been added later. That fence. It's going to take a fair bit of cleaning up this. I better get my pliers. I don't think this is going to be an easy one. Let's see if I can release that. It does move at least. Cool. Just don't know what way it goes.
this fence is moving, but only on the one side. The side with the lever isn't moving. Hmm. I don't want to hit it with a hammer. But I don't know what else I can do. Anyway, it's actually moving, I think. Okay, I managed to get these loose, or this, uh, actually it was this end that was jammed, um, just by emery cloth on the shafts and tapping them. I, I guess these have been hit with a hammer a few times. I tried the little hammer and then realised I was going to damage it. So I uh, used my wooden mallet. Now, I haven't actually got it off yet, but it's moving. So I think that's the first job. It is coming. I think if these things don't move, people probably give up. I mean, there's a bit of wear on those holes there. But I think if we can clean the shafts and get those well greased, we might be all right. Okay, let's try and remember which way around it goes. Uh, yeah, the rods are just rods. So I'm thinking it's going to be quite important to get those shafts super clean. That's the main handle which goes in the middle. Just trying to remember, make sure I remember which way it goes. And then these shafts are screwed in here. I did have a quick go to get those screws undone and it wasn't easy. So let's have another go at that. Oh, I have to go over to the vise for that. Managed to re release those screws. I'm hoping these shafts will just come out. One. Almost, it's moving. There you go, those two shafts, those are the first things that need to be cleaned. Just looking in these holes, again, these, are, these screws are like a cam that clamps against the shafts. It's also got another hole below Presumably just to sort of alter the fence height slightly. Not exactly sure. Better go and look that up, see what that's for. Okay, let's take this bit apart and see if we can get it cleaned up. We'll start with this bit. This is like the micro fence adjuster. All of these cams are pretty well locked up, so they need cleaning and loosening up. Just by moving them helps actually. So I managed to get the uh, wooden fence off um, and that's allowed me to clear these pins from here. So that screw locates in a thread on there and that's your micro adjustment for the fence. However, these were pretty well locked up so I've got to make sure that they're nice and clean before they go back in. Not easy this. All of these cams seem to be uh, riveted or, or pressed into position so I don't think oh saying that that one actually comes out so maybe I can get them out that would be very handy if I can let's try one of the other ones if they come out it makes things a lot easier 
Yeah, they do. Brilliant. Oh, okay. So that means I can fix the cams and I can swap them around to be in the right place, actually. Okay, so I've got different size cams, so I've got to be a bit careful where I put them. Should be able to remember that those, I've got the shorter ones and the longer ones. This one's jammed in. And that one's missing the pin. So I'm gonna to have to find some metal to uh, fix those. Okay, I'm gonna carry on taking this apart. I won't show you every single detail. We'll get all the bits done and then we'll start cleaning it up. Spent a bit of time on the wire brush or wire wheel taking the paint off one of these handles and yeah it does come up okay. I'm not sure about the paint job I'm going to use I'll have to go and have a little research. It seems that the uh, the bracketry parts are black but the handles are alley but maybe that's just where maybe just go all alley I don't know. Um, also clean the shafts. I didn't want to go too far but they're smooth. There's a bit of staining on there but they should slide through the uh, through the handles much easier now. I haven't cleaned the holes yet. Okay, it's a very mucky job though. I'll carry on with that. I'm not going to film that. So I've finished the clean up of the uh, Lewin combination plane. Um, it's come up really nice, but it took a lot of work on the wire wheel. All of this steel was basically black. The alley comes up quite easy, but uh, I had to take quite a lot of paint off. Um, yeah, so three bits, main bits of the body. On the actual uh, cams, these have come up nicely as well. I found out that the actual handles do come out. I won't take that one out because I've tapped it back in, uh, but I was missing a couple, so I had to um, uh, make, make a couple of bars out of a bit of steel. Uh, I also had one where it was actually snapped off, which I had to drill out, which was a bit of a pain. I managed to do it though, which I was quite proud of myself for. So basically, we're here to paint it. Um, so in a moment, I'll bring you over to the bench and we can paint it. I printed off some guides. I don't really know how to paint it, but I think basically it's fill in all of the, all of the low profile bits and leave the handles alley, um, clean up the steel bits. And it should look good. Okay, let's do that. So looking at uh, these pictures that I've taken off the internet, I'm not sure if they're correct. Everything seems to be black apart from the handles uh, and the sort of top runners along the top. Although I was going to paint those black. So I'm gonna kind of just use a feel, feel, feel for it, see how it looks. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna infill these bits. I think that's probably the best thing to do. But I don't know about these bits, they were black. Mm. Okay, we'll see how we go. I've also bought myself some new brushes. I said I would. Only a cheap set from uh, W8 Smith, but I think that will make it a lot easier. Okay, let's do it. We're going time lapse now.
Okay, that's the uh, painting done. There's a bit of tidying up to be done. Uh, went over the edges. I'm not particularly good with the uh, paintbrush. These are a bit too stiff as well. Probably not quite the right for the job, but anyway. Okay, so that's done. I will uh, clean up any edges and do a second coat where necessary. Um, and then in a moment, we'll put it all back together. Okay, let's put this thing back together. First thing to do, put the uh, fence back on. I um, sanded this down and oiled it lightly. Brushed up the steel. It looks quite nice. Soon goes off colour again though. I shall oil it as we go as well. I haven't lit the fire today. It's cold but I'm only in here for 20 minutes so didn't think it was worth it. I'll suffer. Okay, that's the fence. Okay, so the way this goes together is as such. Fence goes onto here. Now. I have to say, I don't think the design of this plane is particularly good. These uh, pistons, I guess you'd call them, fitting into aluminium, so you've got steel, steel bars fitting into alley holes. I think it's just, I don't know if they're expanding at different rates or if they're just not very compatible, but I get this problem all the time. Can't get it apart, can't get it together. I can see why people end up hitting it with a hammer. As I was saying about the design, for example, you've got these cams here. It's hard to know exactly when they're locked and when they're not. So that's the off position. This has also got a micro adjuster, which I can't see anyone actually using that very easily. There you go, it's working now. Everything's a bit tight on the tolerances. It doesn't seem to move nice and smoothly, which you would want it to. It might be because it's so cold. Okay, that's all the way home on that one. I am oiling as I go. So it seems almost unnecessary to lock these, but I guess you just give them a, a gentle lock. Okay, so that's the right hand side handle. So the next thing to do is fit these bars and so once again I forgot to put the uh and the same on the other side these ones are double ones with the screw thread on the top so at least you can't get them ones mixed up but they don't go in easily that one doesn't go in at all just using a drill bit to ream out any bits of paint. And uh, Okay, try again. Okay, so these bars go in, let's do it the right way around. So just proud. There's a lot of room for error on the uh, if things aren't quite lined up. There you go. So those two you shouldn't really have to touch. Then we have the centre of the plane. I need to make sure that I've got the correct cams for these because they are different sizes. Okay, that's the correct one for that. Okay. 
hopefully you can see this okay. So these are the cams. If I have better eyes, I'll be able to see when that's open. There you go, that's open. That's open. Okay, this slides into here. Hopefully. I had to just stop and check I got it the right way around then. Had me worried for a second. Uh, and then I need to put the final end piece on. I'll just slide this on a bit further before locking it in position. I haven't oiled those shafts either. Who uh, misses? Let's just give that a little bit of a... See what I mean? It's really not easy to move it up and down, even with the cams open. It's not easy to move. There's got to be a better way of doing it. What am I doing wrong? It goes okay when you're pushing it, it's pulling it apart. There must be a sort of certain place to pull, I think. I think this is why people end up banging it with a hammer. There you go. Oh, I think I've just, just my technique is not correct. Okay, so you pull it from the body. Ah, yeah. Okay. Even pressure is what you need. Even then it's getting slightly out of kilter. I think if I was designing these, I would have the cam opposite the lever, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be the cam is just randomly placed on the cylinder. So that's not very helpful. You can do it by feel. Just. I can imagine a bloke on site thinking I'll sod that and not using that in that thing. Right, managed to get it together. These bars, you just have to align them correctly, and then it starts to work a bit better. It's not a brilliant design, uh, but it's uh, it does at least work. So that does move again using the uh, pull method. But yeah, it's not that easy to adjust and get set up. Okay, all right, that's that bit. Just the final piece, which is this. Guide here, if I can find it, which is just the uh, height depth, depth, depth gauge, I guess you call it. I tried moving the cams around to different positions and that helped a bit, but I'm not sure it's perfectly how it's supposed to be. Okay, so just to put this uh, depth gauge in, that just screws in, so that one. I mean, I don't really know why that needs a lock, to be honest, but... I suppose it does hold it all steady. Okay, that's your depth gauge. That is complete. Okay, so, um, yeah, apart from the sort of design flaws, it's not a bad bit of kit. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? But there it is, a Lewin combination plane. Now I'm missing the blades, so I can't do that. Obviously, um, I can't do the test. The other thing is, there's these little uh, scoring blades in the side, which I need to get off and sharpen. It's got one there, it's missing one there, which uh, apparently they're not available. You can make one out of a pencil sharpener blade, is the uh, thing to do, apparently. Okay, there she is. Uh, just going to get cleaned up and then I'll summarise. Okay, uh, thanks very much for watching. So, uh, 
it turned out okay in the end. I'm not too sure how much use I'll get out of it. As soon as I get some blades, uh, I'll do another short video and we'll test it, see how it works. There's no reason why it shouldn't work, but I think the problem is that it takes a bit of setting up. I don't know what the Stanley 45, which is this is this is the equivalent of, I don't know what that's like to set up. Maybe it's just as difficult. Um, I'm not sure. So as soon as I've got some blades, I will do another video to um, show you that in action. In the meantime, if you're interested in this sort of thing, take a look at this video here, which is a uh, Stanley 71 that I did, a router plane, that, that was really good fun. Uh, and also I'll just do a playlist of all the tools that I have um, done recently. And if you go in the middle, you should be able to subscribe and then you'll hear when I bring out a new video. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.